Hi, thanks for watching. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I set up my home office, let's say, for web development and the tools and a little bit of software that I use to make my workflow and make my work a lot easier. Now, I think it's really cool to see other people's setups, how their offices and how their computers are set up. There's a couple of great accounts on Instagram that I've linked down below. I just find it really inspiring. It's a really cool way to see how other web developers work what their flow is like, what their spaces are like, just to kind of see, get a little bit of a better idea of like what other people are doing. So the first thing I use, I guess is probably the most important thing as a web developer is having a computer. In my case, it's a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, it's a 2014 model that I bought in 2015. Now I chose a MacBook Pro because I've been using Mac since I was about 14. And when it came around to getting a new computer in 2015, um, I really didn't see any other <laughs> computer than this one. Now I had to save up a little bit more money than I was planning to spend on a computer to get this one specifically, but I've really felt in the last couple of years it's really come into its own and that extra money has really been worth it. And little tip, if you are looking to buy a Mac, if you're looking to upgrade or if you're looking to move over to Mac, the Apple Store online, they don't really advertise it, but they have a refurbished program, which means that computers that uh, were either used in store, used for demos, used by ex-Apple employees, or it might be a computer that somebody bought, decided they didn't want it and returned it, that is classed as refurbished. And if you keep an eye out there, you can find some amazing deals. Now this computer, I think it was supposed to be around 2,000 pounds. I bought it, if I'd bought it new, it would have been two grand. But because I bought it refurbished, I got it for £450 less. So, yes, it's still expensive, but I got a behemoth of a computer for £450 less than I should have paid for it. So, another thing I would recommend is a second monitor. It doesn't need to be the fanciest, newest, state-of-the-art, massive 24-inch display. As you can see, mine is small, <laughs> it's square, it's not even widescreen. Um, but what it lacks in modernity, it really makes up for in productivity. But obviously having a second monitor expands my screen from 15 inches out into another one that's 21 inches. So I can have my main code editor in front of me and I can have, you know, a Chrome window open on my second monitor and I can have a window open with Stack Overflow underneath it. So I don't mean to all the time be switching between windows and trying to find this and trying to find that. It just makes your workflow a lot quicker. So if you can find a second monitor, I recommend you get one. They aren't that expensive, but you know, obviously just make do. You don't need to buy the best, most expensive thing out there. So the next tools I use in my home office, um, again, this is more software stuff, is Google and Stack Overflow. These websites are my two best friends nowadays when it comes to building projects uh, and working on my own stuff. Basically, if you want to do something and you don't know how to do it, just ask the right question and somebody else out there has already answered it for you. You just need to put a little bit of work into finding that answer, but chances are everything you wanna do in terms of development has been answered and it's out there just got to look for it, Google Stack Overflow. So again, another piece of software that I use on my computer to help my workflow is iTunes. Uh, I use iTunes mainly because we don't have Spotify, we don't have any other real music subscription services here in Israel. So I just find a nice long playlist on iTunes, hit play, I've got the buttons on my keyboard to you know change track, turn the volume up and down. So it's a really nice way that I find to help my flow when I'm working at home. So the next piece of uh, hardware that I recommend you get is an external hard drive. Uh, once upon a time, I worked as a tech support guy doing uh, hardware and software recovery stuff. And the number one worst case scenario that I had with customers coming in was, hey, I just opened up my computer and it won't turn on, or oh, I just spilled a glass of uh, cola on my computer and it won't turn on. Um, but I need all my data because I have to submit a paper to university in two days. I'm just like, have you had a backup? Did you make a backup? Do you have a hard disk? Like, once you start asking these questions and sort of the 
the uh, the penny drops that they don't. That is the worst sight I've seen on a person's face. So my number one rule is back up, back up, back up. Um, using a Mac, I have a piece of software pre-installed on the computer called Time Machine, where I just plug my plug my hard disk in, and it just updates it. The backup, it makes a new backup of anything that was added in, and it just you know I just got into the rhythm of doing this every week. Plug the hard disk in, forget I've plugged it in, and it backs it up. Um, another thing I use more proactively is Google Drive. Um, if you have a Google account, you automatically have a Google Drive account, which has 15 gigs of space. So this is kind of where I keep my more day-to-day -day items. It's great because I can use it across my phone, on my computer, on my computer at work. But just remember, back up your work, whether it be a file, whether it be a photo album, anything like that. Um, obviously, GitHub is a great way to back up your projects that you're working on, if you don't mind them being public. But if you prefer to keep your projects private and you don't want to share them on GitHub, just make a folder in Google Drive and just drag them in every time you finish working. Make a folder and back it up to an external hard disk. I can't stress this enough because it will really save some tears in the future. So the last couple of things I use in my workflow in my home office are two very basic things. One of them is a piece of software called Trello. It's a project management software that's online. You can open up a free account um, if you're just using it for personal use and you don't need to add team members and stuff in. But on my Trello account, I have a couple of different boards where I have ideas for videos, ideas for software projects, ideas, you know, even a to-do list of like what I need to buy at the shops tonight. So I can kind of manage my workflow in Trello. And I also use a plain old pen and pad of paper. This is an amazing thing to use when learning web development. Because before you start knowing how to write a function or write an algorithm or you know, actually write a piece of software fully, the best thing to do is just take a step back, think of like what's the grand idea, what am I trying to build, and then just write it out on a piece of paper. And write out the steps that you need to take to get to your final goal. And I find that works so well. Even today, I've been doing this now for, you know, been learning for over a year. I've been working for over six months, but I still use a pen and paper every day at work to try and sort of just sketch out what I need to do that same day or sketch out a new piece of software that I've been told to write. So it's a really invaluable piece of uh, gear to have, I guess. Just have it here on your desk, have it next to your, you know, workstation. And it's also great for just jotting ideas down that you might have, you know, just in the spur of the moment. So that's all the tools. Um, that's my office. That's where I work. Um, this is, you know, where I sit and I do these videos. It's where I edit them. It's where I build websites. It's where I build personal projects. And thanks a lot for watching. Like if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment below. If you have a picture of your office or if you have a video of your office, I'd love to see it. And if you like this video, then please go ahead and subscribe. I've got a load of great content like this on my channel, and I'm making loads more as I'm saying this. Thanks a lot. See you next time.